probably eight. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Uh, let's make one more. I got my balls. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a survival difficulty playthrough with only the ball launcher. Mm, yes, that'll work out fine. Got my balls! And then wait, so when it becomes... Okay, so when it becomes ammo... Modified. Alright. I mean, if you were in survival mode, it would weigh stuff. And you know people would complain if it actually weighed... If ammunition weighed. Alright, cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just gotta forget where... I mean, don't forget where my balls are, that's all. League standing rules, Bar Harbor, blah, 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 blah. And... Who gives a split? Neanderballs. <laughs> Holy rollers, kingpins, alley cats, unbelievable, scared spitless. Time to spare, push pins and gutter dusters. Oh, that's great. Thomas Gracie, Grace Jones. Jacob White. <laughs> uh, if you want to read these, Vim Machine. Oh, this is the guy in the wheelchair. Apparently his destroyer went down sometime in April around when he stopped sending us postcards. The Navy's being really tight-lipped about what happened. He was MIA till about two weeks ago, but they were waiting to contact his parents till they knew if he was going to pull through or not. Good news first, he's live and they are sending him home with a medal for bravery and an honorable discharge. We don't know exactly when, but it sounded like some time of this year. Okay, now the bad news. Thomas had some kind of spinal injury and the doctor said he'll probably never walk again. He may never be able to bowl again either. Daisy is going to be out for a couple more days, but she wanted me to tell you all thanks for being there for her, for keeping hope up hopes. Dining area off limits. Sorry about all the mess commotion in the dining area. Matthew and I talked and with Mr. Clark, and he's not going to sue. He understands it was a mishap. He wasn't hurt. Just shook up. All his, all of his games and half his beer tab are in the house. Till further notice, the insurance adjuster will be coming by sometime tomorrow. May I ask you some questions regarding the hole and the accident? Just let him know that Matthew and Mark are working on repairing the mechanism from one of the ball returns and it went haywire. And better news, I've got word that Thomas will be returning early December. Mark and I are working on building a temporary ramp for his wheelchair. Aww. Till Matthew can, because the fucking war started. Oh, on plus side, I guess you could say the launcher was a success, so we may be able to get our league champion back on the lane after all. After a few more tweaks, of course, winky face. Close until further notice. Structural engineer says the building is unsafe, but she won't know if it can be repaired if the whole building has to come down till the debris is cleared out. I'm talking with the insurance company to see if there's any sort of emergency wages we can get for you, but they are, they are fighting me pretty hard. I'll gather up as much as I can out of your lockers and bring them and your final paychecks to the coffee shop tomorrow at noon. I've added a little extra to your checks. I wish it could be more, but it's all I've got till the insurance pays out. Mark Daisy and I will give you all the references if you need to find other work. I don't know how long the lanes are going to be closed, but don't think we're giving up. We'll do a fundraiser or something if we have to, and when we reopen, we'll be happy to have any of you back. Aww. Aww. I was like... Fucking sad. Oh. I feel bad for the ball in there. Sweet. This is yours now, Nick. This is yours. Take it. Hey, my alerts around here, dude. Check after. Time to kill your leader. The great divide. Time to kill your leader. It's gonna be a great time killing your leader. I would have actually killed you all with the nuke, but Nick's brother doesn't like that. Oh, I want to listen to the tape, right? I want to listen to it before. I don't know if he's going to play it for us. 
Um, Brother Martin, was it Martin's? Martin's New Age. Of rockin' hip hop. Listen, children. Tectus time is over. The nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. Oh. Alright. That's enough for him. None will escape the great divide. Hey. Excuse me, High Confessor. Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to faith and family. Now, how may I serve? Show Dima's tape the sub-launch key when... Um... Maybe after I do everything, I'll do the sub-launch. I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin, it can't. Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice. Listen, children. Tectus time is over. The nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. I can't believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. You, you didn't hear that, right? I know we had the door open. Jesus, old man. Oh, I can bowl and ball your balls up. What the? No. I thought he was hiding. Child, show yourself. Ah, there you are. Now, Martin, tell me what you found. Why are you so afraid of Martin? Afraid? It is not fear, child. Martin, he was the fearful one. Unwilling to stand up to Far Harbor, to fight for this land. I am the only one willing to do what is necessary to keep this family safe. And I will not allow him to put this place in jeopardy again. Now, your tape. Did Martin give it to you, or did you find it elsewhere? Please, I must know. And you're sure you weren't followed? You needn't worry. Martin has no ears down here. Now, what can you tell me? Dima sends his regards. Dima! No mercy! <coughs> You just got bald. Ah, oh, fuck, that sucked. Oh, someone should make use of it. Strike, strike. Ah, oh, if I said strike, strike. Ooh. Oh, I get to get his helmet. And his gun. Everything. Oh, well, maybe not his gun. Yeah. There we go. Now, unless you want it, Nick, you can take it. I don't care. Bury him in the wall, the Bethesda way. Uh oh. Oh wait, that's. It sounds like quite the experience, but I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I. I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You are welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Dima. I should only need just a little more fresh air. What do you think of Acadia, Nick? Well, living in a scientific observatory wouldn't exactly be high on my list of comfortable spots. 
least that fog is far enough below. I was talking more about our ideals. Synths as their own way of life. Not hiding from what they are. Kind of easy for you to say that, though, isn't it? You and I, we can't pretend to be anything else. That just means we're in the perfect position to help our kind. We can be the example in the face of adversity. I'm not looking to be anyone's example. You help who needs help. It doesn't have to be more than that. Oh yeah, he's dead. Dima. I suppose you've heard the news? The High Confessors had a vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? It is. Does this mean the island's finally safe? I believe it does. I'm starting to envy Dima. This whole situation makes me wish I could erase my memories too. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done. But now the Nucleus, Far Harbor, and Acadia will all flourish. Together. And you really believe you can trust the High Confessor? I do. I've done this before, remember? <laughs> I have given him all of the best traits of Tactus, and also of Martin. Memories of his gentle voice will guide the new High Confessor. It was the right thing to do. It was necessary. Hope for a better future. That will be the judge of our actions. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the Children of Adam and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together, under our guidance. The Children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The Harbor Men will continue to survive and reclaim what the fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. Here. For all you've done. You should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, you are welcome in Acadia whenever you like. After all, where would we be without you? You've received the Protector of Acadia perk. When severely damaged, there's a chance you'll receive a massive but temporary bonus to damage and energy resistance. Ooh. All right, let's go talk to uh, Johnny Five. Janie Five. Janie Five is alive. So, it sounds like there's going to be peace on the island. Yeah. It was you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You found a way to fix things. Yeah, peace whether you like it or not, damn it. How are you? You've been all right while I've been gone? Yeah, I have. I feel like a lot of weight has been lifted from my head. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me. To bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. Okay. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended... Everything was all right, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. What are you talking about? I know the real Kasumi is dead. She was replaced with me, but do Kenji and Ray really need to know that? What if we could be a family again? All I have to do is go home. Give them the daughter they thought they lost. Don't I owe them that? You're right, Kasumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For everything. Maybe I'll see you back in the Commonwealth? Don't take my boat. I need that boat. I don't I don't know how to do, drive a regular boat. I'm just letting you know. All right. So he said to go talk to the captain. 
Gather, brothers and sisters. Gather to hear his word. Peace. In the throes of a brilliant vision, he spoke, and now I obey. Atom demands peace. With Far Harbor, with Acadia, within our family. And any found disobeying Atom's word will answer for their crimes. Let none stand in the way of his radiant will. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! I wonder if that other guy, if that one guy's angry. Let's see if he has anything. Zealot Ware. Look who it is. What brings you back to my end of the bay? Alright, nothing. Didn't need anything at the moment. Alright then. <laughs> Take <laughs> Kinda weird you came up to me, but okay. None will escape the Great Divide. Are you angry? Excuse me, Grand Zealot. Peace with Far Harbor? Guess it's not our place to question. You needed something? Soldier with what army? I already asked you that. You were a soldier? They called themselves the On. Mm -hmm. I serve Adam now. Okay. Nothing for now. Fine. <laughs> oh, come over here, Mr. Synth. In here, we gotta close the door. Hi, Confessor. You. I knew it. I knew it was you. In my vision. There, beside our brilliant master. Here, you must have this. It. It only seems right it's worn by his favored child. Whoa. Adam's bulwark. Damage resistance bulwark. Damage resistance energy. Holy shit. Oh, nice. Excuse me, High Confessor. Harmony will be maintained on the island. Or else. Damn right. Peace. Or else. That's the way I like it. Peace. Or I'll kick your teeth in. Peace or bubblegum. Do you want some grilled grilled oh no, I'll just eat it. I'll just eat it. Peace or else, everyone. <sighs> now I'm the type of synth who will never settle down. With Far Harbor. If it is the will of Adam. You love each other now. What is that for? Is that the, uh, Meyer Alerts? Quite the free spirit. Who's pooping in the street? No pooping in the street! <clears throat> no pooping in the street. Poop in my neighborhood, I don't think so. Well, I'm the type of guy who poops in the street. Not slow motion. Oh shit. Oh god. 
<laughs> Where's the other one? Whoa! I'm with the frog. I didn't even look at this armor. Probably gonna get killed looking at it now. Oh, or I can't see it. Just give me a sec, I'm looking at my armor. Oh, I have no pants on, okay. Am I just supposed to not have pants on? How is that a thing? I guess I'm just supposed to have, like, clothing underneath it. <laughs> Damn it. Just give me a second, Rodney. Alright. I'm shooting me! To the mariner. Trap a leather. Alright. Is that, oh, is that the lighthouse? Oh, is that another lighthouse? Hmm. Yeah, we haven't traveled anywhere over there. I kind of want to check that lighthouse out. Put my captain's hat on, it'll be faster. Captain's hat. Oh, there we go. I got no pants on. <laughs> how do I always end up with armors that have no pants? Like, how does that happen? All New Vegas, it happens. Now it's happening here. Is there a bridge? Whoa! Farts. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm fucking running. I don't know where they are, just shoot! I'm Iron Man! I'm the god dang Iron Man! Jeez, they were angry. What crawled up your ass and started a bakery? That was a lot of... That was a lot of caps. Oh, oh, right in the water. I'd be afraid if this came running towards me. I'm just saying, it's a scary sight. Man with no pants on. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> no! What is in front of me? I'm gonna die. Oh! 
<laughs> Why is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my God! Where did he come from? <laughs> back there you are <laughs> was he in the tree <laughs> <laughs> 